Connor, to start with, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and your rugby journey so far? Uh, yeah, so born in, in Rotorua and then grew up in um, a small rural town just south of there, now south, um, called Galatea. So it's just a small farming community, mostly dairy farmers. Played rugby there for Galatea all the way through, um, playing our, our games in Rotorua. Um, so yeah, playing with that with my three brothers, um, all the same age as me because I'm a triplet. So always kicking a ball around. Dad eventually put up a rugby post um, out, outside our house and so we used to just play drop goals or the, I can remember a time where my parents organised a, a rugby game between all our friends so we kind of mowed a little bit, a big patch um, of the paddock off and then set up Dad's got the paint out and put some lines out and we all had a big rugby game and then had a big feed afterwards so it's pretty cool. Most people play rugby, you get pr pressured pretty hard to play rugby. It's like a religion, it's you know, you'll be playing rugby before school, at break, after school, then go to training, and then you'll be, you know, watching Super Rugby or Mighty 10 Rugby, you know, on that Saturday night and playing, you know, that Saturday. So you're doing it all the time, and, and if you're bored, you're just passing a ball between a mate. So you've always got a rugby ball in your hand. You mentioned there that you're one of three and you've got an older brother as yeah. well. So it um, must have been quite a competitive background growing up. Yeah, 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 always trying to fight to get ahead of each other and always fighting, um, I guess. And then, yeah, as we got older, just kind of got got along with each other a lot more. Um, but yeah, so I was played rugby mostly with my two um, brothers growing up. And then when we got to high school, um, we kind of like split off, started playing in different teams. And then um, I got to play with Thomas for the first time um, when I was year 11, um, played one year in the first of Dane together. So that was cool, we got to be either side, flanking either side, which is nice. And you mentioned your brother, Thomas Gordon, the Glasgow Warriors player, and it's nice to be um, back around with him. Yeah, yeah, so I'm living with him, so this is the longest time I've spent with him since since he's left, so 2016, haven't seen, he comes back every year, but I haven't seen him for longer than two, three days at a time, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, I guess you could say he's an inspiration, he's probably someone that I look up to. Um, I don't really want to tell him, but, I try to, I'm chasing him, and so I always kind of look at him like, oh yeah, hey, you're looking bigger, so I need to get bigger, or I'll watch his game and then go, oh, I'm, I'm going to do that. So he's he's definitely, you know, the older brother that you try to try to take off that pedestal. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's cool to watch him succeed and see how far he gets, which would be pretty cool, and yeah, hopefully I can follow suit. So alongside your rugby, you're also um, studying, is that right? What is it that you're studying? Uh, agricultural science at Lincoln University. So. It's um, a predominantly agricultural based university and so it's a four year degree, so I'm nearly, nearly finished. Um, yeah, I don't know, know what I'm going to do with it, but definitely trying to finish my degree. Got this far, so might as well get it done. What was the kind of decision making process behind coming over to Stirling and playing in the, in the Super Six? I'd always kind of thought, oh, I want to come over to Scotland at some point, but I'd was still saying to myself, oh, I'll finish my degree back home and then I'll set, look at going overseas if nothing pops up in New Zealand. Um, and because my brother's here, that kind of gave me a little path where I, I could put my name out there through my brother. And then he kind of got word to Ben Cairns, who was his old coach, and um, Ben got, got in touch with me about this and kind of said, are you interested in coming over? And told me about the Super 6 competition that's starting up. and thought about it and thought, oh, yeah, no, that'd be cool. So, yeah, and here I am. That, that was pretty much it. I just kind of said, yep, I'll go. So in terms of the Super 6, how are you settling into life at Stirling County? It's been a great start to the season with that first win at uh, Megaland against Boromir. Yeah, yeah, so that was my in first introduction to Scottish rugby, which was, you know, last weekend against Boromir. It's a bit different. It's a lot colder playing at night and, you know, a lot more physical probably. Um, yeah, a lot more just straight up runners and big collisions and that's kind of the the classic Northern Hemisphere type rugby. There's a lot more focus on D, on, on defence, so everyone's just in the line and it's just up and just big hit. I, it's, it's only, I've only played half an hour um, of rugby at the moment, so I guess my um, understanding of of the Scottish style will, will change. Different, different style of rugby compared to New Zealand. Um, and then yeah, playing and playing for Sterling, which is you know, a great opportunity. It's you know a great club, and you know getting to know all the boys, really good lads, and 
Yeah, so I'm just I'm looking forward to how well we can do this season. So we're looking pretty strong.